I'm Audley and I graduated from Claiborne High School and what I feel make a story great is journey. When I think of my mom, I think of like this really strong woman. My mom came here um, early 90s. Uh, I feel like she was on a mission um, to bring her family here for a better life. Every Sunday, my mom made sure my brother and I went to church. Every time it was the holidays, we would have like a church play. So there was this um, girl who was supposed to be in a church play, but she couldn't make it, so I had to pick up her role. There was a guy that went to my church, and he told me how like great I did and how I should consider acting, but I was just like, I would love to act, but like, acting classes are expensive and like I'm really shy so I don't know how that's gonna work out. My first year at Clara Barton I was just so interested in theater. Um, it wasn't a class that was offered in school but they did have some after-school programs but that didn't even last the whole semester. It got defunded and removed from the school. When I was a freshman in high school I found out that the opening act was actually in the school. I went uh, that was when I met Corinne. It started with a quick um, breathing and meditation. You know, release everything that's been going on in school earlier that day, whatever's going on at home. And literally when I opened my eyes, every time I opened my eyes, I, it, like, I felt like a new person almost. And from then on, we started with improv and um, I never went up like for weeks. I remember Corinne always saying, okay, like, we're not gonna pick anyone, but I want whoever's ready to come up, just come up and, and do your thing. I was nervous that the teaching artist would call me. I would say Corinne specifically, because they would always look at me. And I was just like, oh, I hope they don't call me right now because I'm, I don't think I can do it. Um, up until the end of the semester, we had to do the big performance again, but this time it was off-Broadway, and I didn't think I was ready for that, so I almost didn't show up, um, but I did, and I'm so happy I did. And I never felt pressured to, to go, and I, I felt like it gave me time to tell myself, you need to do it, because you know you want to, and you know you have it in you kind of thing. And I noticed um, with Corinne's looks, I was getting that. It wasn't, it wasn't pressure, but it was just like, you know you can do this. <laughs> uh, I always felt like I was in a safe space too because outside of that classroom every Wednesday, it was a lot in Clara Barton. Like everybody was, you know, like I felt like we all didn't know who we were. We're, we're discovering that. But when I was in that classroom, I always felt like all that stuff didn't matter. I grew up in a very small apartment with 13 people. This is after um, 2010 earthquake in Haiti. So most of my family came from Haiti and stayed with us. So opening act once a week was that safe space. At the end of every semester, I remember always getting a note from the teaching artist saying how much, like how proud they were of me and how they always knew that I had it in me. My experience of you as a young person <laughs> was like um, so dedicated, like oh. definitely there every week, so eager to learn, so open. Regardless of like taking the spotlight, you were um, supportive of everyone in the room. Yeah. I learned so much from opening act. <laughs> I learned um, to challenge myself, to get out of my shell, to um, take on opportunity. I learned to have so much confidence in myself. Do you remember what your line was at the end of the show? Oh. It was, um, that's why I'm leaving to become an actress. <laughs> was it? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I learned how to memorize from you. This is true. Because you, I, cause when you were in the like artist, you had yeah. those long, like three page, four a, page monologues. It was a five page monologue. Five page monologues. This monologue. was before the cuts. When you surround yourself with other people who have aspirations yeah. that, you know, sort of go beyond what we see every yeah. day, then it makes you want to branch out even more.
we we had that sort of relationship and we pushed each other in that way in high school yeah. and then that translated to when we were both in college and trying to figure it all out to you know getting Grand Army yeah. and, and <laughs> even now just like you know being in the real world and being a prof we're professional actors now <laughs> which is crazy okay. um, what does Brene Brown say there's power and vulnerability yes and you're a strong complex woman mm -hmm. and that's why I'm doing this yes, right. because I am me mm -hmm. Okay, but keep it chill. I feel like with each play reading that I did, there was always a, a successful black woman. And even like with Asia, Asia Naomi King, like she's my mentor now and after, after that play reading. And it was just having those black women to sort of bounce ideas off of yeah. or just be like, hey, I'm scared. Do you think yeah. I should continue doing this? Yeah, um, yeah that, that changed the game for me. Yeah. I'm sitting back as the, in the as you know one of the ensemble members. Mm -hmm. The lights are dim, so I have the opportunity to really look around and see how you're affecting these people. And everybody is in awe of you. Everyone is in awe of you, and I'm like, <laughs> that's a star. Mainly, what's next for me is booking more roles and completely embracing this journey and career path in acting. With my degree in social work, I'd love to create something like opening act in public schools in Haiti. I remember always saying that I live to inspire. It just feels amazing. And I'm so grateful for opening act because this is where it all really started for me. It's so weird to be in a place where I can have such an impact on girls like me and have them tell me how much I inspire them. It's just so surreal <laughs> to finally live up to a motto I've said since I was so young. It's, it's no longer a dream, it's, <laughs> it's my reality.